What's up guys, this is General Geibel. Welcome to this new video. This video is about slicing. The background of it is I showed it already in a couple of live streams and a couple of other tutorials how I do the effect kicks. I use the slicing tool to slice them up and put them in a drum rack to work with them in my track. In our Facebook group, the Heart Dance Producer Network, Richard Swift asked if I could make a video showing exactly how to set up, how to make your own default custom slicing tool. That's what the video is about. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so you get notified when something new is up keep in mind I share my knowledge for free I just want to make our scene a better place if you will everything I learned throughout the past 15 years I'm just trying to give to others so if you want support what I do just click like leave a comment uh, share it let your friends know so all the producers get access to knowledge and know there is knowledge there and what they do are of it is their thing back to our video um, there is already a video there I'm gonna link it maybe I'm gonna make a note or whatever I'm gonna figure it out but there's a video on how I make the effect kicks so but we're gonna do it just now really quick again so I loaded up a kick that's the kick how it sounds so I put in a little bit of distortion and some EQ and now we can already just record it and you know do some crazy effect stuff with that just on the fly <laughs> Okay, cool. I like to have like all my samples always normalized. In Ableton it's quite easy. You just consolidate them and in the background it does some sort of a normalization. So that's what you end up with at the end. So now we got like our long recording of uh, tricks and you know we can slice them up like that and put them in a drum rack but you know we can also use the internal slicing function. That's where it gets getting interesting. So let's load up a drum rack right from, from from the start you can think what you want to use where you want to load them up like in the simpler or in the sampler like for instance by default i load all, always my samples up in a sampler for the slicing tool it would be more beneficial to use the simpler because we can use also the various warping modes i'm gonna just load up a simpler this is our default and now we can start thinking about you know once we slice it up we have like 50 different slices which controls we want to have on each slice so personally i prefer also to have a loop in there and we can also move you know assign the starting point so let's say we got a starting point we assign our loop uh, length is good fade we probably not gonna need it but let's just do it why not then on on this thing it's it's quite okay so we probably don't want to have too much release because we kind of want it really when the note stops you know everything should stop so you can leave a little bit longer so you know it doesn't click when you do it what would be always good to have is having the transpose already mapped out so we're gonna do that and, you know we could make the range a little bit smaller uh, depending on what you want to do but sometimes it's also fun to play with that to get like interesting different sounds also you know for more modulation possibilities it's it's also cool to have uh, the pitch and uh, pitch lfo assigned so we can put it in that's why the loop is coming in handy and you know you could work with either leave that rate on hertz so it's kind of a free thing or it's synced it's whatever you want uh, more often than not you know you will probably end up want to want it to be synced so you know we can put it on the quarter as a beginning and put the rate to as well so that's basically most of the controls you really would need um, since we got a macro left why why not let's just add a cutoff like a filter and you know we can also add the resonance so now the resonance when when like the filter is completely open the resonance is like at its peak we actually want the opposite then we got more like a feeling like it's a dj mixer so uh, maybe, you know, let's maybe put it up 200. So what it does now, when the filter is completely open, 
it doesn't do anything but then it opens up the thing with that filter sometimes like if you play the sample uh, at its root that's all good but when you start pitching it around you feel that the filter is eating up some high end do some testing i was surprised when i found that out a long time ago that's why i also gonna automate the filter like the on off button so and what i want to do is when it's on 127 it should be off and once i put it down it should be on so see once i start moving it it turns on automatically which is a cool thing so you know you can figure out for yourself how you would like to have your default setting this kind of makes sense you know sometimes you would maybe even want to have the filter on the on the uh, lfo you can also make different settings just just for the fun of it now we kind of have our template set up and it's it's pr quite easy so we're using the classic mode not the one shot mode so snap is off um, we applied the filter we applied the pitch lfo and we also got a transpose you know you could name them really nice you know that's that's already like you know little details so oh, why not let's let's just do it yeah now our rack is set up next step we go in our user library we go into defaults and here we find our slicing here I already got like a couple of slicing so i call i just move it around and i just throw it in here and let's call it tricks slicing 2019 so now the interesting thing before you start slicing i got like always the uh, repitch as a default mode but in this case i want to have tones because you know i won't be able to pitch it around and yeah we got it pretty much set up so we make a right click and we say slice to new midi track and here we can apply our slicing preset and we got the trick slicing 2019 which we just created and you can, you know, make like your own warp markers and, or like go by transient markers or, you know, bars, beats. So we go like with a quarter note. So it means like every hit we got another slice and we just slice it up and here you go. All our slices are in there. Let me put down the level because that might get a little bit extreme. <laughs> So just for the fun of it, uh, let me move that away. Let's just loop that one up. So and then we can, you know, check the settings which you got. Sample start. That's also where the loop is coming in handy because, um, you know, otherwise you would slice, shorten it up and it would end. Uh, you can, can also make like... And all that shit you can like make um, on, on the fly or you know you just copy that slice over like you know let's say you're somewhere here you copy that slice and like make different variations of you know, the loop, the fades, um, transpose. That's uh, interesting sometimes like to, just to make additional effects. Um, but also when you work on another track like this source kick was in g so also kind of all the tricks are sort of in g and then you work on a track which is maybe in f and you can just import those slices and then you pitch it down by two uh semitones and it it should be all right um pitch lfo can make like all that crazy shit um with some other yeah, some other sounds, it works better, you know, depends also on the sound. And of course, our um, a filter. Now that slicing tool is set up and oh, we can quite easy work with, with that one here. So let's um, draw in a couple of slices. Let's see, together with the kick.
Yeah, we're pretty much good to go. Guys, those who are using Ableton, start using the slicing tools. It's really, really great stuff. And who don't use it, there are also slicing tools, third party plugins and everything, you know. I just stay away from them because what for, you know, Ableton is doing it like that as well. And it's way easier and like much more CPU friendly to use. So anyway, you know, I hope that inspires you, gives you a lot of ideas and also helps you with your effect kicks and stuff. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye bye.